Hey there, it's Melissa Mortensen from polkadotchair.com and at polkadotchair on Instagram. And I am excited to sew along with you guys today. Today we are going to make this fun little sunglasses case. It is padded and lined and perfect for summer. A great way to store your sunglasses when you're not wearing them so that you don't lose them in your purse. To make this little sunglasses case, you are going to need a printable pattern piece. You can get that on our blog. Just go to polkadotchair.com, go look for the little icon for the search and type in sunglasses case. It'll pop right up and follow the directions on the page. The pattern piece is free for our newsletter subscribers and the newsletter is completely free. If you prefer to have a version of the pattern that includes all the instructions and all the photographs, not just the printable pattern piece, you can find it in our shop at shop.polkadotchair.com. So let's get going. I hope you're going to have fun sewing with me today. Okay, before you start sewing, there's a few things you need to do for prep. Um, first of all, let's go through all of the supplies that you need for this project. Um, you've got the pattern piece. Um, if you bought the printable version of the pattern, you can find that um, at the end of the pattern. If not, there's instructions to download it for free on the blog. Uh, it's free for our newsletter subscribers. Um, you're going to need fabric. I've gone ahead and already cut out my fabric, but you're going to have two pieces of fabric cut out for the outside of the bag. Actually, it's not a bag. I guess you'd call it a case. Um, two pieces cut out for the outside of the case and two pieces cut out for the lining of the case. And I am using fabric from my Ahoy Mermaids fabric collection with Riley Blake Designs. I've got some of the prints that have this really pretty gold sparkle that Riley Blake does so great. Then you're going to need a seven inch zipper. You can use a metal zipper if you want, but for this project, I prefer to use a polyester zipper, mostly because I feel like it's um, more gentle on your sunglasses, so they're not as likely to get scratched as they would from a metal zipper. Then you're gonna need some quarter inch foam. I am using Pelon Flex Foam. I don't know, I was gonna have to say this a few times. Pelon Flex Foam, quarter inch fusible foam. It's fusible on one side. When I wrote the pattern, there was not fusible foam on the market because it's from Backlake in 2014. Um, since this is fusible, we're gonna do it a little bit differently than in the pattern um, and the tutorial, but I will go ahead and update the blog post and the pattern after this so that it reflects the current product. If you don't have fusible, that's fine. Um, you can also go to like big box fabric stores and get uh, it's called auto liner foam. If you can't find Pelon Flex foam, it's not fusible, but it'll work great for this. Then you are going to need a piece of canvas for whatever color you want your letters to be, and a piece of paper backed fusible webbing. webbing. I am using Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. Um, you can use light, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm using Ultra Hold because I'm going ahead and working with canvas. So now you've got all your supplies. The first thing you need to do before we get going, um, and you will need a light box for this. Um, you can buy light boxes very inexpensively online. They are readily available. Um, this is one that I have with Cricut. I really like it. Um, it's scratch resistant, um, but if you don't want to invest this much, there's a lot of options. If you don't have a light box, you can use a bright window. So what you're going to want to do Let's go ahead and turn on the light box. Um, is you're going to take your pattern piece and you are going to turn it upside down because when you do this kind of applique, it reverses the letters. So um, you need to make sure that while you're working with it, that it goes, that it comes out the right way when you're done. I am going to use a little bit of tape just to keep this from sliding around while I work. It's totally up to you how you wanna do it. Um, I like washi tape because it peels off really easily. And excuse my voice a little bit today. Um, allergies here in Kentucky have really picked up and so I'm a little scratchy today, so I hope you'll forgive me. So what you're gonna do is this fusible 
it's got two sides. There is like a sticky side and a paper side. So you're gonna put the sticky side down and the paper side up. And then you're just going to use a pencil and as close as you can, you are just gonna trace the outside of the letters. Okay, after you've got that traced, go ahead and using some small sharp scissors, just go ahead and cut it out loosely. You just wanna get the excess off. Um, you don't need to be precise about this step. And I realize I forgot to trace the dot for the eye, so I'll trace that in a second. Okay, so there you can see that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're going to press it onto your canvas.